Today, the family of Homer Hoax, one of the last surviving Tuskegee Airmen, said their goodbyes at his funeral service. He died Tuesday night in Dallas, a couple days after his wife passed away. Our Alexis Wainwright shows us how the community is honoring him. Homer Hoax was the quiet man he was, but did so much, you know, with a ninth grade education. The Tuskegee Airmen died in Dallas on Tuesday, just 48 hours after his wife, Maddie Hoax. You know they loved each other. So that's the picture that I took, and I'm just so thankful for them because they helped me be who I am today. Another second time. Now he's receiving tribute along with his wife during a joint service. I'm grateful for all the memories I have of my grandparents and my mom Papa, but I am most grateful for the example that they set and I'm grateful for the map that they've given me because their love was so evergreen. Hoags is being honored and hailed as a hero from his 10 grandchildren and 15 great grandchildren. Many memories bringing utter joy and laughter. Papa at some point looks over at my dad and says, You better thank God because <laughs> I'm going to sleep for the last five minutes. Surprisingly, the family says they didn't know about the history Hoags made in World War II until 2009. He said that when he came out of the military, there were no, well, when they came out of the military, there were no. Parades for them. There was there was no one saying thank you, you know, for what you did. So therefore, he thought that nobody wanted to know and nobody cared. And I still remember thinking, this this can't this can't be possible, but it makes perfect sense because he had such a air about him, such an honor. But his family says they always knew there was something special about Homer Hoax. Impressive before I knew it was Tuskegee Airmen, and just as impressive now that I know the legacy he wanted to share with all of you guys. When we found out that he was our double hero, so that just made us more proud of him. In Dallas, Alexis Wainwright, CBS News, Texas. CBS News Texas first met Hoags back in 2012, and that's when he and four other surviving members of the Tuskegee Airmen took part in a ribbon-cutting ceremony for an exhibit dedicated to them. It's at the Frontiers of Flight Museum.